All right, guys, another uh, emulator video for you. This is for the Super Nintendo emulator for your PS Vita, running on 206 official firmware with the Apache Overkill exploit for the virtual half byte loader. Uh, so, uh, first thing you're going to need to do is, uh, oh, I might as well prove that I'm on 206. Uh, so, uh, hold on one second here. I'll fucking find it. Um, system. System information and here you go, two zero six. So that's that. Um, all right. So now, uh, file I'm going to have you download is right here: the S N E S nine X underscore T Y L dash uh, Thorhawk two thousand twelve zero nine dash oh eight. Uh, so double click on that and open that up and extract the files and you will see the SNES9X underscore TYL folder. Open that folder up and you will see the install ZIP. So uh, first thing I'm going to have you do is uh, open up your documents here. And bring that up here. Go to your documents and the PS Vita folder. Open that folder up and go to PS Save Data and open up your random number folder right there. What I'm going to have you do is extract the SNES 9XTYL file right there into this folder. Now open up that folder right there and you're going to see the uh, data icon install zip and uh, param SFO and pick one. Open up the install zip file. Opening that up now you're going to see the SNES 9XTYL folder again and open that up and you will see ROMs. Open this up. This is where your ROMs are going to go. So basically what we're going to do now is go to computer and I'm going to pull up some ROMs here real quick for you guys. Uh, and I will have a download link to the ROMs underneath as well. Or you can go to coolroms.com to get your ROMs there. It doesn't matter. Make sure they're SNES ROMs. Uh, let's see. So PSP, ROMs, and Super Nintendo. And best of SNES. I will have that in a zip archive ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, let's see. Let's go down to uh, um, did I have fucking Metroid? Of course I don't have Metroid. I love that game. Super Mario All-Stars. I'll use this for an example. So I'll double click on that and open that up. And uh, here's the install zip right here, and what you're going to do is just simply drag and drop the ROM into that folder. Zip compression and compression method is store. Make sure it says store or else it will not work. Click OK, and uh, I'll just put another ROM in here just for ha-has. Um, ooh, zombies ate my neighbors. I forgot about this game. And uh, click and drag and drop that. Again, compression method, store, click OK and then exit that and then a little screen will come up and say the archive has been changed this that blah 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 uh, oh well maybe not alright so I'll exit this real quick and I'll bring this up and exit that real quick and just to double check go into the install zip again to make sure those files are copied there go to ROMs and they should be in there like so so if we go back now it should be in the PS save data uh, I'm going to come back here to the Vita and now it's time to go into your content manager so uh, go to content manager like so and hit start start your content manager allow it to connect like that and go to PC and I'm going to click Wi-Fi because I'm not hooking up my cable and connect to my PC connecting to the PC now and you're going to go PC to PS Vita system applications and go to save data and you will see the SNES 9X TYL icon right here as you can see in my previous video we did Game Boy Advance it's the same principle so go ahead and copy that over and allow that to copy it to the PS Vita system allow that to copy over like so and hit cancel and then hit home and close the content manager now it's time to start Apache Overkill. You will need this game. If you need this game, uh, P 
PM me and I will show you how to get it because it is no longer on the PlayStation Store. So open that up and click start. Opening it up like that. I'm going to turn my volume down so you can hear me talk still. And here's all the keys and everything. Press X. And then the main menu will come up. Go down to high scores and hit and hold X and allow the exploit to load. Once you've installed the virtual half byte loader exploit. Which I also have a video on how to do that. So that's that there. Now what you want to do is click this uh, two dot icon here. This is the W menu, which is the best one in my eyes. And go to save data and scroll down to SNES 9x-TYL. Now you can delete the save data after this um, unless you want to modify it or whatever like that. Uh, you can leave it in there or whatever because this is on your memory stick. The game emulator will be installed on the HDD of the PSP Go. Do you want to install this homebrew? Click yes and allow that to install the files to your HDD and then click OK now click this double period again and go to game and you will see SNES 9XTYL press X on that and it will load the emulator there's the emulator like that click X and Super Mario All-Stars and Zombies Ate My Neighbors that I put on there so um I'll click uh, Super Mario All-Stars. Circle is the confirmation button to confirm things and all that fun jazz. And now it will load the game. Start and select are the same as in regular games. And like so, you have Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, so I will start uh, Super Mario World here. And click Start. And... Uh, click start again to start a file and sound does work obviously so that's that and if you want to go back to the uh, directory or whatever it's um, the L and R buttons at the same time and uh, load new game hit circle and you can go back here to load another game like so so it's not that hard um and uh so that's that's pretty much it so um and then uh i think yeah that's about it so that's how you install the SNES emulator on your PS Vita using the Apache Kill exploit uh, Apache Overkill exploit. So again, the file that I will have you download is right here, the SNES TYL uh, Thorhawk 2012-098, and that will be available for download, and as well as ROMs for you guys. So take it easy, I hope you enjoy your emulator, and uh, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel, feel free to donate to my channel for more, um, for more materials for proceeds and stuff like that to go towards my channel for more tutorials for you guys because I'm sure you would like me to do many more tutorials so take it easy guys and I will talk to you guys ASAP